Welcome to Keeping It Real with KC. I am your host, KC Phoenix. Okay, Aquarius, you are up. I'm doing this today on a Monday. Usually I try to get these done on the weekend, but I've had to stretch it out because obviously it, it takes a lot out of me. But here we are. If you're new to this, don't forget kirwkc.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google. Um, I had to think. Wow, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, (laughs) and several other podcasting platforms. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. As for the mid-month energy readings, I only pull three main cards and a fourth card as an overall message. I will do a clarifier if need be. And what else? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it doesn't, If it isn't your story, don't try to make it fit. Obviously, this is not going to resonate with every single Aquarius on the planet. Uh, I do not read reversals. I read energy. So wherever the energy goes, that's where I go. Also, there is not a gender in tarot. There is only energy. So if I'm talking about a queen of cups or a king of wands or an emperor or an empress, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm talking about a male or a female. Could be. However... I'm just talking about the energy of the individual. So yes, now that I've said all of that, I did the pre-shuffle for my main deck. The two cards that came out, it was the two of pinnacles and then also the two of wands. So that's letting me know that you're in the middle of making a decision and you've been juggling with something that you want to do, a road that you want to go down. It seems like a lot of basically indecisiveness and you really want to make a decision, but because you can't, you're stuck is where you're at. In the clarifying deck for the two cards, I got the tower, which obviously is where something crumbles, um, usually unexpectedly is what happens with the tower, which is also ruled by Mars energy, which we're in the month of Aries, which Mars rules, um, Mars rules, rules Aries. And then the nine of cups came out and it was actually reversed. And when I was feeling the energy of it, the energy I was feeling nine of cups is wish fulfillment. I honestly feel that you, your indecisiveness is blocking your wish fulfillment is what I feel. I feel that the wish fulfillment is there, that you're going to get it. Because with the tower, the tower happens whether you want it to or not. But the with you not being able to make a decision with the two of pentacles, with the two of wands, with you not be, being able to make a decision, you're delaying the inevitable. The end result will be wish fulfillment, whatever your wish is. It's just that you more than likely will be forced to make a decision unexpectedly. And then that will carry you off in two because when the tower falls, it removes what doesn't serve you. So when everything is removed, that will carry you off in two, your wish fulfillment. So that's the energy that I was picking up for the pre-shuffle energy. Now we're going to go ahead and get to the main energy is what we're going to do. And this deck is so thick too that I'm about to use for my main deck. But something was saying yesterday, go ahead and use this deck. So I decided to go ahead and use it. May I have three cards for Aquarius, please? May I have three cards for Aquarius? May I have three cards for Aquarius. May I have three cards for Aquarius? Mid-month April energy. May I have three cards for Aquarius, please? Thank you. Yep. (laughs) Okay, may I have two more cards, please? Thank you. Wow. (laughs) 
May I have one more card, please? May I have one more card, please? May I have one more card, please? This doesn't want to go back in, so I'm going to take it. Actually, I'm going to take both of these. Okay, and may I have the overall message, please? I am not taking all of those. Part of me wants to take that one, but I'm going to wait and see. If it's meant to come out, it'll come out. May I have the overall message, please? Whoa, two came out. Okay, what do we have here? Interesting. Huh. Okay. You know, and I'm going to read those as reversals, too. All right, that's cool. Okay, Aquarius. This is the energy that's going on right now this is you could say past energy or what is to come in a way this is the world card world card is about endings world card is about learning lessons world card is about closing out a cycle is what the world card is about so some of you are in the process of closing out a cycle even though based off of the pre-shuffle energy i believe that you have had an issue Closing out the cycle. You have been holding on to something that doesn't serve you, hence the tower in the clarifying deck. But with the world card, the world card is saying, okay, we're closing this cycle out. We're going to finally go ahead and let go. Also, the world card can be travel. If you are thinking about traveling, this might be it. You closing out a cycle might require you to travel because you closed it out where you're leaving a job. Let's say you work in Miami, but the new job is in Charlotte. Then obviously you're going to have to move from Miami to Charlotte and do that. Or you could just be looking to go on vacation after you closed out the cycle. You could be like, you know what? I just need a break. I need to take a break and do that. But again, this is closing out cycles, usually a karmic cycle, meaning that whatever lesson you needed to learn, you've learned it, whether it is in a romantic relationship, whether it is in a personal relationship, whether it is in a family relationship, whether it is in a work relationship, you have learned the lesson that you needed to learn. And it is time for you to ascend to a higher level. Because when the world card happens, it doesn't happen for you to descend. You learning your lesson is for you to ascend. It's coming to the end of a cycle. The world card is the last card of the 22 major arcanas in the tarot card deck. So this is the last part where you're graduating. Also, some of you could be graduating right now because we're about to go into the month of May. Maybe you are finally wrapping up school and trying to figure out, OK, I have this degree. I think I know where I what industry I want to work in, because just because someone has a degree in a certain field doesn't mean they always go to work in that field, because I know people who have degrees in psychology and go and work in telecommunications. So to each his own. But the point of this card is, is that you're closing out a cycle. But with the pre-shuffle energy, I just feel it's, been, it's a very slow process for you. The next card that comes up, and I was right, and that's why, why I said, wow, the Nine of Cups. You see how she's sitting pretty on here? For those who are, are watching, for those who are listening to the podcast, it's a woman with nine cups behind her and she's sitting on a bench and she's sitting pretty is what she's doing. That's why I like this deck. This deck has some very pretty cards, but she's sitting pretty. She is unbothered because her wish has come true. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. So whatever 
you have been wishing to happen, whatever you've been hoping to happen, that wish is coming into being. Again, I just feel that this is a very slow moving energy due to your indecisiveness is what it is. But this all of these changes are going to happen whether you want them to or not. The world card here, your cycle is going to close out whether you want it to or not. And it's going to push you into your wish fulfillment if you haven't got there yet. If you haven't got there yet, you're going to end up getting there. For future, you have the star card, which is Aquarius, a major arcana, which is about hope, faith, healing, renewal, things of that nature, where you might have a little bit of shell shock, too, based off of the tower in the pre-shuffle, where maybe some things happen where, like I said before, the tower comes along usually when something is not on a solid foundation. And also it comes along when people don't see the signs and the universe is trying to give the signs. So the universe is like, okay, you're not getting the point. Let me shake you up. I feel that after you got shook up, even though you got your wish fulfillment, you still have a little bit of shell shock or post-traumatic stress or whatever you want to call it. But you're, you're able to heal from that. You're able to find yourself again. Because like I said, the star card is, it represents Aquarius in the major arcana. So this is a good thing for you. This is a new beginning for you. This is a new direction because don't forget the North Star. So this will be a new direction for you. Also, you will have an offer coming in with that. This came out with the star card. So whatever is happening connected to your wish fulfillment, more than likely an offer is coming into you with the page of cups. It is something that's going to fulfill you emotionally. And again, with the nine of cups, we have a lot of cups energy here. Cups represent emotions. Also, that is affiliated with water. So you could be dealing with a Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces. Maybe a Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces will make an offer to you that gives you direction. Maybe they will call you about a job. Maybe they will help you in regards to taking a new direction in, in relationships. Maybe they will offer some type of relationship or commitment to you. Who knows? But with the Page of Cups, it's an offer usually coming in is what it is. So some type of message that you will hear and it will lift you up emotionally, especially with the star card. It will it will. What's the word I'm looking for? Something it will. I don't want to say feed your soul. It will. I, there's another phrase I'm looking for in regards to the soul. It will feed your soul. It'll be food for your soul. But it will rejuvenate you. There will be rejuvenation is what there will be. So keep that in mind. The overall message, I'm going to take these and I'm going to read them as a reversal. The hangman and these two came out together. It's the king of swords and it's the hangman. The king of swords and the hangman, upright. King of Swords, upright, is a very decisive person. King of Swords is very analytical. King of Swords is very tactical. Deals with communication. Also, Swords energy is air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The hangman, which is Pisces energy, is in the upright, is where someone tries to get a different view of something, where they try to understand things from a different point of view, they hang themselves upside down. When the hangman is right side is right side up, meaning standing up properly, then he has the regular view of things. I feel the overall message with these with these two cards coming out together, the universe is saying you have all the information you need Stop overanalyzing things because the King of Swords is very analytical. The hangman 
is looking for new perspectives so they can analyze something better. With this energy, I'm taking it as a reversal, both of them, that you need to stop overanalyzing. You need to quit being indecisive. Your indecisiveness is keeping you from your wish fulfillment. That is the overall message. So you can hurry up and close out the cycle. You need to quit being so indecisive. You need to make a decision. You have all of the information available to you. Take the information and just go for it. Because based off of these cards, the universe is on your side. You, Whatever decision you make will more than likely be the right one because you already have all the information. You can already make it an informed decision. And the universe is saying, you already know what you need to do. Quit being so indecisive. Get off the bench and get into the game is what it's saying. So Aquarius, that is what I have for you for the mid-month April energy reading. If any of this resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to share because sharing is caring. Also, don't forget to subscribe. That way you will know when I upload new videos and new podcasts. Until next time, Aquarius, be blessed.